May they have brainwashed then about the relationship thing. You are a princess. Everybody's going to want to want to have you. Okay, boys, uh, that video of today, it's another proof then that the feminists have lied to women like freaking crazy. And you know where most women that I saw that are very, very happy, you know what they do? They take care of the family. They take care of their kid and their husband. This is, this is where I saw the most of the women are very, very happy. All the caring women out there, I mean, they end up, they, they end up taking freaking pills for depression. And I'm not going to say any name out there. There's a, there's somebody that I know. I'm not going to say anything. A woman, she's a freaking alcoholic, 40 years old, single. She put that mask every morning that she's tough and strong and independent. And we hear on the back door of her alcoholism and all the pills that she takes. And all the drama that she involved. And this is terrible. This is the feminist lie. And women end up at 40, 45 years old. And they realize how unhappy they are. You know why? Because of the feminist lie. I need to be strong and independent. This is freaking bullshit. Most women are happy when they take care of their family. Kid and us, Ben. This is where the freaking happiness came from. This is where the freaking happiness came from. They need to take care of something. Women need to take care of freaking something. And here's the proof. When a woman ends up at 50 years old and the kid is gone, what they want? They want a cat or a dog. <laughs> the woman need a one to take care of something. They want a cat or a dog to take care of. They need something to feel responsible to. That's a proof right there. Women are social and they've been born, they've been put on this freaking planet to take care of their wife, uh, of their husband and their kid. This is what women will be put on this planet for. And there's nothing wrong with it. So let's take a look at a little video over here. Again, I just confirmed what I'm saying. That just confirmed what I'm saying. So listen to this, boys. Also say this: the women that I've noticed are the most happiest and the most fulfilled typically have a strong man who's masculine, dominant, etc. They mm -hmm. have children, and yeah. look what they said again. Eh? Look what look what he just said. For the pussy pussyfy guys out there, the pussy guy that's been raised by single mother. Look what Myron said: a woman was to be with a strong man. A woman don't want to be with a blue pill guys. A woman don't want to be with a guy who is too nice. You know why? Because women need to be put back in their place because of their nature. Women's gonna shit test you. I make a shitload of video about that, that woman shit test you to see how strong you are. A woman's going to be happy if she's with a strong man. He just said it. So let's keep going. They understand. And their happiness a lot of times stems from serving their men. Yeah. I genuinely yeah. believe that women fall in love with men through acts of servitude. Women are here to serve men and make their life easier. And if they don't do that, their liability needs to be kicked to the streets. So as a female, and I know this, oh, this is this might be misogynist, blah, blah, blah. All I'm doing is talking about traditional gender roles that have existed since the beginning of time. Yeah traditional gender role that's been here since the beginning of time. This is where the women are the most happy. This is blind, blind, mind-blowing to me that women have believed all the lie of the feminists. You need to be strong and independent and all that freaking bullshit. And they end up at 45, 50 years old and those women are freaking miserable. You know why? Because there's a lot of them, they don't have kids. And there's a lot of them, they end up single. Because the need to men is, a, is way too high. Because a woman wants to be with somebody who's better and superior than her. 
And a woman who make more money is going to have way more of a hard time to find a man superior than her. And the feminists have destroyed relationship. Let's keep going. I agree with you. Society that yeah. we live in, and like, I think this is what women naturally want, but they put up this front like, I'm strong and I'm a dominant and I'm aggressive, etc. But then they cry, cry, their sleeves, cry themselves asleep at night because they don't have a man. So my thing is... <clears throat> is that women need to serve a man that they love, admire, and respect, and then they're going to feel fulfilled. But when okay. they're with a loser, yes. then they get angry because they're like, what the f*** am I doing? I'm wasting time. I'm wasting my potential, etc. I'm not with the right guy. But then you got to ask yourself, who picks the guy? Yeah. 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 And to be a man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's it, boys. That's it. That video said it all. It said it all. And that video is for the man and the woman. The freaking crucified man out there. That the single mother. Exactly. You hear me? The single mother raised to behave like a woman. The bad job that the single mother have done. Because that man behaved like a pussy. That man, no woman is going to be want to be with. Because of the job that single mother have done. Said to the man, behave like a woman. See, see how fucked up that is? This is the result of the freaking feminists. The freaking feminists that said to all women, be strong and independent. You could dump your man. You're going to find another guy just like that. No, you're not going to find another man just like that. Bullshit. We don't want single mother. You see the feminists are... It's terrible what they did to the society. This is terrible what the feminists have done. For the last 20 years, at the beginning, the feminists was doing a good job. I'm all agree that women could go to work. I'm all agree that women should be pay equal. I'm all agree about that. I'm all agree that she, they should have equal opportunity, the same opportunity that men should have. May they have brainwashed them about the relationship thing. You are a princess. Everybody's going to want to want to have you. The feminists have did an horrible job. And this is why the city is going down the drain. All the women who are in power right now, who keep brainwashing and all that shit. Look what, where Disney is going. All that woke crap. Where do you think that woke crap came from? They came from... They came from single mother. They came from woman career. That's where that war crack came from. Or the pussyfy man do not man enough to set those women. No, that's not what we want. That thing is freaking bullshit. The feminist boys have it's it's terrible what they did. Freaking terrible. And I'm here to try to wake you up. So let's go back to what the video was saying here. You know what, girls? You are happy when you are with a strong, masculine man. I get that. Most men don't get it. You don't want to be with a freaking pussy, blue pill, blue pill guy who has been raised by a single mother. Who that woman that did a job to that guy to be a freaking pussy. You don't want to be with a man like that. We get it. I get it. You want to be with a strong man who's going to run the show. And after that, where you find a strong man who's going to run the show, your happiness came to serve him and take care of your family. Take care of your kid and serve that man. And if that man do a good job, but be masculine, bring the bacon, be a strong masculine man, your job as a woman is to take care of him and your children. That's your freaking job. And you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy. All the women out there at 45, 50 years old, no kid, complete depression, I call it, they try to hide it, they end up losing their freaking license. And they're at work and they put that mask and they're happy and strong and dependent. I saw so much women like that, boys. And it's fake. It's fake. It's freaking fake. It's terrible. 
And those women, I feel bad for them. They have been brainwashed. Brainwashed by that feminist claptrap bullshit. I feel bad for them. It's not their fault. And women, most women will follow. They're going to follow what other women said you have to do. But this is such bad advice. Bad advice. So, I'm going to show that short again. And that video today is for the man and the woman. The blue pill guy, like that, the pussy guy, the guy who is too nice, the guy who, understand, who don't understand female nature, that one men and women were not equal. We're totally, totally, totally different. We're different. We're not the same. And we're never going to be the same. We're never going to be equal. A real man always going to be better than a woman. Why? Because we're stronger. That's it. And her brain, we're not thinking the same, and we're never going to think the same. And all those women out there, those single mothers, they are sure to do son, to think like women. This is why the society goes down the drain. Think about it. Think about it. This is crazy. All bad, those single mothers do their job. So, let's listen to that video again. I'll also say this. The women that I've noticed are the most happiest and the most fulfilled typically have a strong man who's masculine, dominant, etc. They mm -hmm. have children. And yeah. they understand and their happiness a lot of times stems from serving their men. Yeah. I genuinely yeah. believe that women fall in love with men through acts of servitude. Women are here to serve men and make their life easier. And if they don't do that, their liability needs to be kicked to the streets. So as a female, and I know this, oh, this is, this might be misogynist, blah, blah, blah. All I'm doing is talking about traditional gender roles that have existed since the beginning of time no, that affords the society yeah. that we live in. And like, I think this is what women naturally want, but they put up this front, like I'm strong and I'm a dominant and I'm aggressive, et cetera. But then they cry, cry, their sleeves, cry themselves asleep at night because they don't have a man. So my thing is, <clears throat> is that women need to serve a man that they love, admire, and respect, and then they're going to feel fulfilled. But when okay. they're with a loser, yes. then they get angry because they're like, what the f*** am I doing? I'm wasting time. I'm wasting my potential, etc. I'm not with the right guy. But then you got to ask yourself, who picks the guy? Yeah. 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 And to be a man. Yeah. So that's it, boys. 12 minutes in. I'm going to stop that right there. And you know what is crazy about that? Some, most people are going to listen to my video. They're not going to understand what I'm talking about. For me, it's so clear in my head what the feminists have done. It's terrible. It's freaking terrible. Men and women are not the same. A woman is superior to a woman on most things in life. It is just so simple to understand when you get it. And the blue pill guys out there that think that women, men and women are equal. I agree for equal opportunity. Men, men are superior to women. End of story. Equal opportunity, I agree 100% with that. Man, most guys do a better job than women. Most guys do. We're not equal. We're not taking the same. And we're never going to be the same. Never. The way that we think, we are the opposite. A woman thinks a certain way and a man thinks almost the opposite way. And those women, they try to change men to think like them. And the society is going down the drain because of this. This is pure insanity what's going on right now. Pure freaking insanity. Okay, I need to stop yapping. So, <laughs> if you like my video, boys, you see, I repeat myself. I'll be like a woman right now. Like, share, subscribe, <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.